Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sanitary. I hope everyone's well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Scorpio, it's time to throw down your cards for the first half of May. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, well, good. Maybe. Possibly. Depends on what the cards say. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Because it might not. It's not going to resonate with every score for you. That's the whole point of a journal reading. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings if you haven't already. Those might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And if you're a cross-watcher popping in for Scorpio, kudos to you. It's very stealth of you. Good luck to you. But it's very stealth. Scorpios are a hard one to figure out sometimes. I know this from experience. I've dealt with many. And I'm a Scorpio Venus, and sometimes I can be hard to figure out. Especially when it comes to aspects of love. Neither here nor there. Two more shuffles, and we're going to get your cards on the table. One. Do that thing I do. Two. Scorpio, why are you here? The world card. Something is coming to a close. And what do we know about when things come to a close? New things begin. Your life is a chapter book. Right? Old chapters end, new chapters begin. Sometimes endings are beautiful. most of the time, right? Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The lover's reversed. Okay. The connection is there. It's just not being mutually felt. It's a little stronger for one of you than it is the other. Okay. What do you think of them? Knight of Wands. You think they might not be so committal, possibly? Or they're very in and out with communication. It's running hot, running cold, running hot, running cold. They might go a couple days without talking to you. And then they're talking to you all day long one day. Things of that nature. It moves two steps forward and then it doesn't go anywhere. It moves two steps forward and then it doesn't go anywhere. Like that. What do you want from them? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. All right. You want them to be patient. Okay. All right. Well, how do they feel about you? Six of Swords. Hmm. They might be think, uh, feeling like it's time to move on. Or that you possibly are in the process of still moving on from something. What do they think of you? Nine of Cups. They see you as a happy and emotionally collected person. Okay. They think you're a cup filler. There's abundance there. They think it's only one cup away from completion. That's a good thing. But keep in mind... Something's coming to a close, which means something is starting. And there's a little mishmash in the connection at this point. What do you want? What do they want from you? Eight of Swords. They want you to stop being all up in your head about something, come out of a cage of your own thoughts. They want you to not overthink things. Okay. What is the challenge? Perfect. Oh. Loaded. Mm, okay. Yeah. 
I'm going to throw a clarifier on it. I don't want to say too much, but that is the marriage card. It is like the holiest of connections, if you will. It is like the end all be all of connections. I have a very strong sense that you both want this very badly, and that is a challenge. Because there's a mismatch in the connection. Someone is asking for patience. The other person is asking to not have things, have too much thought put into them. It could be a Gemini or a Taurus you're dealing with. Hmm, what needs to be done? Queen of Wands. Somebody needs to light a fire under the other person's behind. Something needs to move forward here. I got two wands on the table. A little something, something, a little sugar, you know what I'm saying? Projected outcome. High Priestess in the reverse. Oh. Mm. Coming out of secrets. Someone possibly becoming a little bit egotistical. We're throwing, we're throwing down clarifiers now. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cords? Uh, la, 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 if I can make words work right now. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Scorpio, please, for the first half of May? I get ahead of myself. I try not to. It's worse when I'm tired. Sounds like the boys are out there having fun cleaning the house. Big Mama Sag got a little rowdy when she got home and walked in after the third 10 hour day in a row and the house still wasn't clean. So, speaking of lighting fires under some behinds. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about Scorpio. Mm, what do we want to clarify first? this Hierophant card. That's sticking out like a sore thumb. Can I get some clarity on the Hierophant, please? Communication. Forward movement. Eight of Wands. Have you talked about what you guys want? Has there been a conversation that wasn't the fly-by-night in 30 seconds long? The Eight of Wands is an indi indicative of a heart-to-heart. -heart. It's indicative of a almost a ships-in-the-night conversation. One more on that, please. King of Wands. Forward movement. On with it. On with it. What are we doing? I have a sense that it, it might be a little combative or argumentative at times, possibly. But the challenge is throw one more on that. Okay, you want to talk? Fine. Queen of Swords. Yes. Very honest. Almost a cutthroat conversation. I think conversations get cut short. I think someone may be a little bit cold at times. Mm, okay. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? 
for what needs to be done. The Empress reversed. Okay. Hmm. She's divine feminine energy. She's love. The embodiment of love and growth and expansion. <sighs> Somebody needs to dial it down. Somebody might be getting a little bit excited. I think someone is in desperate need of wanting that tenth cup filled. And someone might be overthinking certain aspects of the relationship. You know what? I'm going to throw a clarifier in this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? For what Scorpio thinks of the other person. Okay, hi. Nine of Swords. That's Sleepless Nights and Obsession. Scorpio, I think you may be the one not quite feeling the connection as strongly as the other person. Okay. Maybe you see them as a little bit obsessed. <sighs> it's like not outwardly wanting to commit, but... In their mind, you know they do. If that makes sense. Oh my. You might even think that they're a little bit manipulative. Going back to the whole, they'll talk your ear off one day and then not talk to you for three days. Could well be a fire sign you're dealing with, possibly an air sign. They're trying to pull strings. All right, why is the nine of cups here? This is getting good. Why is the nine of cups here? Prince of Pentacles. Well, they definitely think you have something to offer. It's slow moving. Hence why you want them to be patient. Okay, well. Alright, why is the High Priestess here for the outcome? For the love of Pete. Quick, okay, it's just work, never mind. Why is the High Priestess reversed here? Thanks. Nine of Wands. Someone possibly getting a little bit egotistical. Connections not being acknowledged. Connections being cut off. Walls, okay. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Is this walls going up or one last push? Another fire sign card, by the way. More of that combative, pushy energy, possibly. One more. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Four of Swords. Four Swords comes after the three. This may end in 
walls going up and taking a break. If we don't dial it down a little bit. So, long story short, somebody needs to be patient. Somebody needs to stop overthinking things. Everybody needs to dial it down. Let's get some advice. Uh, the Chariot and the Ten of Wands reversed. Need to put some distance here. I think y'all maybe need to take some time and kind of distance yourselves from the situation, possibly from each other. Or this could become a little bit too burdensome. Four of Cups reversed in the sun. Okay. There's definitely a connection here. Someone's possibly ignoring something that the universe is trying to hand them. I don't think you should totally ignore the connection altogether. Just put some distance there. This is a connection that definitely needs to be acknowledged. The world and the king of swords. Well, okay. Try looking at this from a logical aspect rather than an emotional one. And hesitation and patience may be necessary because someone's still closing at a chapter here. And it's important to close chapters before you start new ones. I mean, do you skip the last two pages of a chapter when you're reading a book? No. Because then when you go into the next chapter, it doesn't always make sense, does it? Don't leave things hanging out there. I mean, if it's kind of left hanging out there, not of your own accord, that's one thing. Don't leave things hanging out there before you go to the next chapter in your story. Don't skip the last two pages. Okay. The hangman in the reverse and the fool. Again, you have to accept the situation for what it was in the last chapter before you start the new one. Just keep reiterating. Don't leave yourself emotionally stuck somewhere else and then start something new. Because it's very impossible to start something new <laughs> when you're still hanging out somewhere else. Somewhere in here or up here. Or down here in your heart. You know what I'm saying. Something else that could be taken out of this. For whoever lis is listening or if this is resonating with. Don't let somebody else push you off the cliff. If you're not ready to jump, you're not ready to jump. If you need more time, you need more time. I'm not saying hang out at the cliff forever. But patience may be required here. Alright, Scorpio. I love you guys to death. You guys are the best. Thanks for stopping by, taking your time to listen to me babble and read some cards for a little while. I appreciate your existence. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so inclined, I'm not going to twist your arm. Um, starting next weekend, I will be available again for private readings. I just, I need to take a break. It was between the bread and butter job and the channel and the personal readings I already have in the pipe. I'm just kind of, ah! So... Yeah, again, thanks for stopping by. I love you guys, and we'll catch you for the work week talk up and bottom either later on tonight or tomorrow morning first thing. Love you to bits. Catch you later.